we all like a nice picture of us on our bikes, don't we? Have you ever been riding down the road and seen some people at the side of the road with a camera and thought, I wonder what that's all about? Well, chances are that was BikerPix, who are one of the biggest roadside photography companies in the country. And as they've just launched a new app for both Android and iOS, they very kindly sponsored this vid and invited me along on a shoot to find out more about what they do. Oh, and they also chucked in a nice cheeky discount code for you somewhere in the vid. Down Right, folks, I'm here with Diane and David from bikerpicks.co.uk. How are you doing? Good, good, thank you. And you? All good, thank you, all good. We are just on the A29, just north of Whiteways Calf, to give you a, an idea. And this is one of the locations that Bikerpix uses. If you head to bikerpicks.co.uk, you have all your locations on there with what dates you, you're going to be in places. Folks, if you're not aware of what Bikerpix do, um, they have a number of, of freelancers all around the UK and specific sort of bike orientated locations which they go to they stay there static and they take pictures of the bikes as they come by then you you can then go to bikerpicks.co.uk you can have a look at the website on the date and the location where you are have a look see if these guys were, were anywhere along your route and then check out all the pictures that they took and if you see pictures that you want you can buy them from them they're all professionally edited beautiful pictures i'll put a few examples up just now so you can see and that is what we're going to try and do today so you guys have the new app that's now out uh, how can people use the app what's the point of the app yeah, the main point of the app is that people can find us easier. Mm -hmm. So um, the app is completely free mm -hmm. and it, uh, it, uh, no, no account is required to use the app. Okay. Um, so when they, when they downloaded the app, they can give uh, the locations they are interested in. Uh, and when a shoot comes up in that location, they're going to get a push notification on their phone. Gotcha. So they can plan, they can, they can plan their trip, um, they can come and um, this uh, they're going to get a push notification when the pictures are up as well so they don't need to check the website all the time brilliant and and also the app is the best way to get up-to-date information about the shootings if you need to make changes because of the weather mm -hmm. or because of any other circumstances what we didn't see before uh, that's, that's the best way because we, we will have push notifications about it awesome and you guys always pick really good bike riding locations so folks if you're stumped with somewhere to go have a look at the locations these guys are at and you'll be guaranteed some really good bike roads so uh, you can incorporate that into your route as well so we are going to give this a shot i'm a total uh, noob when it comes to photography so these guys are going to give me a few hints and tips as to how we get the best pictures and we'll also cover a few do's and don'ts that we as bikers can do to make sure these guys get the best pictures of us possible so let's crack on Wow, so this is, a, this is a little bit different than my usual GoPro. Uh, it is. <laughs> what is it, Diane? Um, it is a professional camera. It's a, a 7D Mark II, mm -hmm. um, and it's a 70 to 200 lens on it. So that's our normal kit that we use for, okay. for every shooting. Right oh. So it's not just on your mobile phone. This is proper, <laughs> proper professional stuff. No, no, no. Do you trust me with this? <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> How much do you know about photography? Uh, not too much, to be honest. Not too much at all. So I better don't explain the exposure triangle, do I? Let's not. If, <laughs> folks, if you want to get into the ins and outs of proper photography with regards to exposure, shutter speed, everything like that, Google it or have a look on YouTube. This is not a tutorial for that. So we normally shoot at um, 1 350th of a second, mm -hmm. um, sometimes lower. Um, and um, I set the ISO for 100 for today because it's a lovely sunny day. <clears throat> and um, yeah, uh, let's just crack on with it. Okay, right? let's, let's try and find some bikes. <laughs> you look through the viewfinder mm -hmm. and you're gonna see uh, a spot in the viewfinder. Can you, can you confirm you see that yeah. spot? Yeah, yeah, there's a square. So, yeah. yeah, that should be on the bike. And uh, ideally at the same part of the bike all the time. Okay. So you have to follow the bike as they are passing that's the hard bit <laughs> right <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, while you are, are um, following the bike you, you press the shutter so this is the shutter uh, that one there yeah so um there's a nice slow car you can practice with this one so just press the shutter and follow 
yeah, that's it. Yeah, now the buffer is, is full, that's why it didn't take the, the shot. Right. So, uh, yeah, so because of memory space, it sometimes fills up the buffer. And that's the something actually which we will cover in a second, the vid folks, is what we as bikers can do to make these guys' job, make their jobs a little bit easier and make sure that they get the best pictures possible of us on our bikes. We'll cover that shortly. You need to make sure that you are as, your body is as stable as possible while you're doing the panning. Right. Otherwise, uh, the camera won't find the focus. Yeah, and follow it. Go with it. That's it. Brilliant. Good. Right, Diane, I've had a little play there. Let's have a awesome. look and see. Right. So Masterpieces. You, yeah, sure. So you can <laughs> sure. Uh, the, you can you, you can zoom in your pictures mm -hmm. and see that well while it's not too bad, it ca it could be a bit sharper. So this one is quite sharp. That's mm -hmm. good. This one you can tell it's not sharp. Gotcha. <laughs> now it, it goes out of the frame. Yes. So, so yeah, this yeah. this is going to be bend, 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 bend. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them bend. <laughs> Definitely not as easy as you think, folks. So uh, shall we try with some bikes? Yeah, hopefully. Right. Yeah, we have a lovely biker pig spike coming up our way. <laughs> Excellent. Let's crack on. Let's see how we get on with some bikes. All right, we just have to wait for a biker. There we go. There he go comes. It's quite hard to keep them in frame, isn't it? <laughs> God, you must get really good shoulders doing this, holding it up. Now, now you can start shooting. That's it. Right, so uh, let's see how bad these are. It is really hard when you when you want to follow them all all the way. It's really hard, as you can see. So he's out of frame here. He's, he's <laughs> well out of frame here, here, here. This one looks like he's in frame. So I zoom in to check whether it's. It, see, you can't read yep. the the text. Yep. So that's that's our rule of thumbs. If there is a text on the bike, like uh, Yamaha or something like or Suzuki or BikerPix.co.uk, you need to be able to read that. So yep. that's uh, that's um, rubbish. Sorry. Um, <laughs> This one is a bit better. This can be saved by, saved by editing, so this one is not as bad as the other one. But yeah. <laughs> not as bad as the other one. Yeah, so yeah, but... What's the keys to getting a sharp image then? <laughs> there are loads of things. So, um, first of all, uh, you have to follow the, the, the bike and you, ha you need to keep the, 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 view f the spot in the viewfinder at the very same point. Right. Um, you need to make sure that you're, you're aligned with the bike, your, your upper body is aligned with the bike, but your um, lower body is as stationary as, you, uh, as it can be. Um, it also helps uh, if the bike is has lots of contrast like biker pig's bike does so shooting a green kawasaki in this one yeah. is a lot harder than shooting a, a white and, and black uh, bike so um yeah it's uh, it sounds easy but it's re it's really not <laughs> there's a lot of things which we as bikers folks which we can do to make these guys jobs that little bit easier and make sure that they get some really good quality pictures of you so we're going to have a quick chat with david now and he's going to tell us what we need to do and i'll go out and practice it so david uh do's and don'ts for the bikers then to get the best pictures possible yeah well uh first i start with the don'ts <laughs> uh, we don't shoot knee downs and wheelies because of safety reasons uh, it's not because we we hate this stuff we don't really like it on public roads but uh, the simple reason we just don't want to be on the skin of an accident. Absolutely, it's understandable. And yes, it's 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 a biker's risk. We know about it, but we just we just don't want to be there. Okay, so Sorry save the stunts for elsewhere. You don't want photographic evidence of that anyway, folks, because as we know, some people out there they could well report it. And if you've got a picture of it on a public road, you're kind of bang to rights. So no no stunts. Yeah, yeah. Basically, that's that's the don't. Uh, what you can do to uh, to get a, uh, a good shot, uh, basically, the slower the bike, the easier to shoot it. Uh -huh. We know everyone would like to have nice and lean pictures and, and yeah. put it down and, and make a, a nice turn, but uh, but the slower, the better chance. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, if you're riding in groups, it's really, really important to keep distance uh, from each other. Not just not just the one be, be, uh, in front of you, but the one behind you. I know it's not your control, but, uh, but it's quite hard to, to shoot groups. 
you might have seen when I was taking some pictures, folks, that after that initial burst, there's a pause, and that's the buffer, is that right? Yeah. It's a buffer, so we have to give that buffer time to reset and then take the next burst of pictures. Okay, yeah. so keep distance between each other. Yeah. The opposite thing, if you would like to have a, a picture together uh -huh. with, your, with your mate, uh, make sure you write as close as you can. Okay. Stay safe, but make sure you ride as close as you can because uh, we cannot shoot bikes from distance each other. If you would like to have a, a, a same picture, two bikes, make sure you're close. The other thing is when, when uh, lights are pretty bad, uh, fog lights, that gives us a lot of pain. <laughs> that, that, that can make a really nice picture just rubbish because of the fog light. So if right. you can turn it off, Please turn it off. So these big adventure bikes must be horrible for you because everybody's got fog lights on, haven't they? So turn your fog lights off, folks. If you see these guys at the side of the road and you want a picture, turn your fog lights off. So if you would like to have a nice shot, make sure you pass us several times. Okay. They're always distracting things on the road and, and rubbish things in the background, like uh, cars, trucks and tractors yeah. and these kind of stuff. And uh, sometimes you cannot make a nice shot from first time. Mm -hmm. So make sure you pass us several times. Awesome. There is a list on the BikerPix, bikerpix.co.uk. Yep. There is a do's and don'ts section on there, so make sure you familiarise yourself with that. When you check out where these guys are going to be on your ride, have a quick look just to remind yourself as to what to do. I'm going to head out now, and I'm going to do a couple of passes, and I'll try and practice all that, and there'll be even better pictures when we get a few of these key points right. Right then, folks, you saw there that first pass I did. There was a big lorry coming the other way, wasn't there? Yep. Yeah, here's your first pass. Yep. There's the lorry. Yep. Uh, I stopped shooting there and I restarted when the lorry passed, or you passed the lorry. Uh, and the other thing is, when you came up here, mm -hmm. you thought you might have a cracking shot, but most of the time, bikers are not aware about the background, the backdrop. Yep. And as you see, there's another lorry in the yeah. backdrop. <laughs> so that, that's why we say it's it's better to pass us several times to make sure we got we got a nice clear shot like this. Wow! And so not, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and not not like that. It could be a really nice picture without the lorry in the background. But now you have the new app that's yeah. now gone live. Now on the app, folks, what you can do is you can have a look and say, right, well I'm going to be going to, in this case, Bury Hill, on this day date time place. I'm going to be there. Boom, make sure you take pictures of me. So once you push on that on the app and say, right, I'm coming here, what then happens? Well, you will have all of the push notifications about the shooting, uh, any changes in timing or uh, weather forecast or whatever. Mm -hmm. And after that, after the shooting, uh, when the pictures are ready, you will have another notification. They already go to the gallery and find yours and Awesome. And get it. Oh, great. So, so like if there's weather or just a, a change in circumstances that means the time's going to change or the date's going to change, if you've tapped on the app and said, yeah, I'm interested in this one, you'll get told about that. And then, yeah. as you yeah. said, it'll also tell you yeah. when the pictures are ready. And you don't need to find that information. It's you will there. have the notification it's sent about to you. it. Um, and where can people download the app from? Uh, it's available from uh, iOS and, uh, and Android devices, so App Store and uh, Android Play Store. Awesome. And is it free? Yes, absolutely. We all like a freebie. <laughs> now, you guys have very kindly given a discount code, I believe, for everybody that's following Teapot One. That discount code gives you 10% off from uh, digital pictures and it's valid till end of September. Fantastic. So I'll put the, the discount code down below. It's just Teapot One, capital T, capital O. It'll be in the description as well and uh, I'll no doubt be posting about it on the social. So make sure you're subscribed to my socials and Biker Pick socials and we'll update you with uh, the discount code. And as David just said, that is valid till September. Yeah, till the end of September. Till the end of September 2021, you'll get 10% off. Right, folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. A huge thank you to Diane and David for inviting me along. I hope that's given you a little heads up as to what the guys here at Biker Picks do. And if you fancy a little bit of photography yourself, it's maybe given you a few hints and tips. Remember to follow along on my socials and on Biker Picks socials. Check out the app as well when that's out. Get yourself along and get some cracking pictures done of you. And don't forget to make use of that 10% discount with Teapot One. Guys, thank you very much for having thank me Thank you very much. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the road. Thank you. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye.